Hi there! Throughout this series of videos, we've looked at some different ways to create artwork for the laser, how to prepare files for printing, and how to run the files on the machine. If you want to continue making high-quality laser graphics for a long time, there are just a few more skills you should know. In this video, I'll be walking you through some of the routine maintenance tasks that should be performed on your machine in order to keep it in good working order. A clean laser will produce higher quality images, cleaner cuts, and will significantly reduce the risk of fire and smoke. Begin your cleaning at the laser head with the autofocus plunger. With the table lowered, gently rub any dust or soot buildup off of the plunger using a clean cotton rag and a mild household cleaner such as Windex or 409. It's also a good idea to clean the laser optics about once a week for optimal performance. The mirror and focus lens on the laser head tend to build up some residue from smoke or dust that can cause a power reduction and poor quality cuts. These parts should only be cleaned with the optics cleaner supplied in your laser accessory kit. Pure ethyl alcohol can also be used if you run out of this cleaner. Wet a clean cotton swab with the cleaning solution, then dab off excess moisture on a clean cotton rag. Gently dab the swab on the lens until any visible contamination is removed. Avoid any harsh scrubbing. Once the visible parts have been removed, prepare a fresh swab with the cleaning solution as before, and clean the lens with a zigzag motion. Remove any cotton threads that are caught on the mount, then allow the lens to dry before operating the machine. Use the same process to clean the 45 degree angle mirror on the laser head. Another task that should be performed about once a week during periods of regular use is to clean the bearing rails. To do this, prepare a clean cotton swab with a mild solvent. Then gently stretch the x-axis belt out of the way of the rails and use the swab to clean the top and bottom of the rail as shown. About once every three months, these rails should also be lubricated using the tube of grease supplied in the laser accessory kit. Apply a thin bead of grease to both the top and bottom rails. Then, with the machine off, carefully slide the laser head from side to side on the x-axis rail. After cleaning the x-axis rails, use a clean cotton cloth to wipe down the y-axis rails. There is no lubrication required for this part. Once the rails are cleaned, use a clean cotton cloth to do a general cleaning on the rest of the laser's internal components. You can use a vacuum to clean up any pieces of material that have become stuck in the table grid, but be careful not to knock around any of the laser's moving parts. When small pieces of material get cut out during vector cutting, they sometimes get sucked through the table grid and collected on the crumb tray beneath. This crumb tray needs to be emptied regularly. To remove the crumb tray, open the front access door and disengage the two pop-out connectors at the front of the tray. Then slide the tray out of the machine and empty the contents into the trash. Wipe the tray clean of dust and put the tray back the way you found it. Be sure to lock the pop-out connectors. You should also check the main cavity inside the machine for dust or debris buildup and clean it out if necessary. The next area to clean is the exhaust. Lower the table all the way, then use a clean cloth or a soft bristle brush to remove any soot or dust buildup around the exhaust ports. I don't have a flexible brush, so I just fashion one out of a cotton rag and a wooden towel. You should also get the draft ports while you're at it. Finally, give the outside of the machine a good wipe down. Sweep for dust and debris in the area around your laser. Any dust and debris that is allowed to build up in, on, or around your laser can create a fire hazard, so take the time to keep your laser clean. You'll get higher quality jobs from your machine, and using it will be more enjoyable. Plus, it gives you something to do while you're waiting for your files to run. Keep in mind that the maintenance requirements of your machine might be a little bit different. You should always check your operator's manual for a complete list and description of maintenance tasks, and contact a service professional with major maintenance issues. For more information on creating laser cutting graphics, prepping, and cutting files, check out my other videos in this series. And keep an eye out for more videos in the future. Good luck! Thanks for watching.